Imagine a 13-year-old boy returning home from school. As he approaches his Gregory County farm, his house disappears in a cloud of dust. This is when the U.S. had not yet realized or appreciated how limited our water was as a resource. This was in the Dust Bowl when this was caused by drought and erosion. Hi, my name is Ella Whitmus, and I will be speaking with you today about how our water sheds. According to the South Dakota Department of Agriculture's website, the U.S. Had, was in a drought when the farmers had been overusing their land for a little over 75 years. This caused se severe conditions in the Midwest. This was a devastating event, yet an important wake-up call for the U.S. Department of Agriculture. They began to formulate ideas that could possibly prevent further drought from occurring. Some of these ideas included contour farming, which decreases the amount of runoff, terrace farming, which slows the amount of runoff, shaping and grassing gullies, which provides permanent vegetation to filter the water, and grass waterways and diversion dams, which creates a place for the water to run so that it does not harm the soil. Today, we need to continue to protect our watershed so that we can enjoy its beneficial uses into the future. Some of these beneficial uses, like swimming, fishing, drinking, and irrigation, are all important for our economy and our health. Our, the Environmental Protection Agency states that there are many natural benefits of a healthy watershed. One of these benefits is improved water quality. Improved water quality helps natural landscapes and floodplains with nutrient cycling and filtering pollutants. A clean watershed creates opportunities for carbon storage within the soil by reducing the amount of greenhouse gases released into the air. By reducing the amount of greenhouse gases released into the air, it also assists in slowing the rate of climate change. A healthy watershed creates a healthy environment for its inhabitants, which in turn will help the indigenous species outcompete the invasive species. Our ecosystem is not the only beneficiary of a healthy watershed. The economy benefits as well. One of the economic benefits of a healthy watershed is drinking water and infrastructure costs are reduced. This is because it costs much less to have water naturally filtered than to have to build a facility to filter it in. Properties that are built on a healthy watershed have increased property values than others that aren't. This in turn increases the tax base in communities. Job opportunities also increase with a healthy watershed. According to the South Dakota Department of Game, Fish, and Parks, recreational uses across the state of South Dakota are worth around $1.9 billion. Some of these recreational uses in my home, Clay County, are walking and fishing along the Vermilion River, Spirit Mound and the creek that runs through it, and of course the Missouri River, which we can swim in, fish in, and boat on. The rich Clay County farmland is an effect of the aquifers adjacent to the Vermilion River too. Today, we need to continue to be vigilant in protecting our watershed. Some of these larger programs, like the Environmental Quality Incentives Program of NRCS, will help us in doing so. This program provides funding for producers who want to implement best management practices to improve their watershed. Vegetation treatment areas will also help us improve our watershed because they filter the water that comes from farmlands and livestock areas. Along with these larger programs, we need to do things as individuals to help our watershed too. We can do anything from taking shorter showers to colder showers and even turning off the faucet when we brush our teeth. In our communities, we can do things like do more to plant additional vegetation, and this will increase the strength of our soil and reduce erosion. Our hopes for the future are that when asked, how does your watershed, South Dakota can proudly say, our watershed is flowing and flourishing. Thank you.